I finally made it back to the San Diego Zoo. I haven't been here in like five years. It's a lot different. They got a lot of new marketing stuff up. Um, but I'm really, really excited because I get to see the flamingos once again. That's cool. And uh, I don't know, we might take the bus tour, but I definitely want to hit the, the sky buckets. I love the sky buckets. The sky buckets go over the gorilla enclosure, and you can see the gorilla enclosure really neat from that angle. The flamingos are cool, but they look more orange to me than pink. I don't know, that's kind of weird. But I really like the flamingos. I always like looking at the flamingos. But if you get real close to flamingos, you'll notice they actually smell really bad. I think it's because they uh, defecate and walk around in the same water. This is Mbongo, Mill Mountain Gorilla. There you go, this little plaque there. This is cool. Now, they have something very similar in uh, at the LA Zoo. I have a picture of myself sitting with one of those, uh, just sitting up on the thing there. Uh, with, I'm wearing uh, plaid, brown plaid pants and a green pea soup green color shirt. The funny part though is I, I pissed my pants. <laughs> I peed my pants so I got a big pea uh, sitting right in the front. But my dad always loved that picture. This is Nyagi. He's also a male mountain gorilla. I think they're both from, uh, they were both from the Belgian Congo, but you gotta love, I love big apes. Now usually you can take a picture here, but right now they have it blocked off. But this one reminds me of Mufasa and Simba. You can see there. I can just see him saying, everything the light touches is ours. That's really cool. So we got ourselves a penny squisher, a pressed penny machine. Let's see what we got here. We have a kangaroo, a meerkat, a panda, and another panda. And if I'm, mis if I'm not mistaken, I don't think the pandas are here right now. They were taken back to China and they were looking to, to make a new agreement to have them here. Um, I think I'm gonna get the kangaroo. Oh wait, it doesn't look... Oh, can't get it. It's broke. Oh well. On to other things. What are they doing? I don't know if they're playing or fighting. Oh, look like they're fighting. He's like, trying to bite his head. Oh, they're biting him. <laughs> That's not cool. <laughs> Chill, man. These guys are just, they're chilling over there. Oh look, now they're separating. Oh, he's going up. He's going after this guy. This one's the troublemaker. See, look. See, look at him. It's a battle. <laughs> oh, see, he bullied that other one, but this one's the sticking up for himself. There he goes. He's gonna go back. See, he's going back for the other one because he knows he can take him. Oh, here it goes. Here it comes again. That bigger one, the bully. No, the the one on the right was the bully. Oh, really? The little one? Little yeah, he bullied this other one that's way over there, just biting his leg and in his face, and then it took off, and then he went after this one, and he chased them off. Now it's like a, now it's like a Mexican standoff. That's cute. So this is news from when I've been here last: the reptile walk, which is probably all the same stuff, just with a new sign and things like that. So this should be pretty interesting. I love reptiles. Let's check it out. Here's my wife's favorite thing. Snakes. Look at that guy coming over there. Look at him. He's posing for us. Smile. So these are the kind of frogs for me always look fake and how they move. The turtles are one of my favorite things. I love watching turtles swim. Those are so cool. We've got the crocodile taking a swim right here. And we got his other buddy just getting some sun. Look at that guy. Just chilling. You never realize how thin their snouts are till you see them up close. Just something about it. You look at these and it's like it's like you're looking at dinosaurs. I 
I'm, I'm hearing the Jurassic Park theme in my head right now. Dun, 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 da, 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 my wife's favorite place, the Riptaw House. Oh, we got we got penny swishers. Oh, these ones look like they'll work. This one has a cartoon pole bear, tortoise, the logo, and the sky buckets. I think I'm gonna get the logo. Okay, we got it all set to where we need it. I'm gonna put our quarters in there and our nice shiny pennies. Boom and spin. There it is. We got a nice San Diego Zoo logo penny squisher. Uh, we'll see if we get other ones. I'm not really here for that today, but I always got to get at least one. This video is just for Carrie. I'm going to put this on the loop. Oh, he's beautiful. Yeah. He's camera shy. Oh, there he comes. There he comes. Oh, look at that. Look at that tongue. Oh, my God. Oh. Hello. That looks like a raptor. That's Jurassic Park. Oh, look at the tongue. Where is that? Now, I love the sky party, so I always got to go on the sky party when I come here. It's the best way to get from this part of the park to get to the polar bears. And, and, like I said before, you get to see the top over the gorilla enclosure. So that's always really cool. Let's hit the sky bucket. And I'm getting number 24 on the gondola. Nice pair. Thank you very much. Look at that. Nice. Nice. Like I said, I love the gondolas or the sky fari, sky buckets, whatever you want to call them. They are just so freaking cool. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this view. Look at that view. Downtown San Diego, Balboa Park. It's just it's so cool. The new children's zoo they're building there. So cool. So cool. And let's see, I don't know if we can get the... Uh, I can switch sides here. See if we can get the... Oh, there's, pla there's plastic here. Let's see if we can see the gorilla enclosure. The wind's kind of blowing. I don't want to, I don't want to lose my world champion Dodgers hat. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're looking there. Dying down there. That's there's a gorilla. There we can we see him? Can we see him? There's a gorilla enclosure. Oh, so awesome. We got the waterfall. This zoo is my favorite zoo. And I grew up in Los Angeles. This is still my my favorite zoo. Stuff like that is it's just it's just so well laid out and the enclosures are so beautiful. Uh, switch it here. Come back over this side. There's the tree house. You get some food and merch there. But look at that. Downtown San Diego. Love hanging out there for Comic Con. Hopefully we can do that again soon. I know they're going to have a little mini con in November. We'll see how that goes. But I can't wait for the big one to start up again. That's that's very, very awesome. Now we are dropping down into the station. Here we go. We are making our descent. So that was fun. Never a bad time on the Sky Fari. Like I said before, the cool thing about taking the Sky Fari from the front of the park to the other side of the park is that it's a downhill walk to the polar bears. So we're going to go to 
the polar bear plunge. Hey, it was right out of the water. Up to the other side. Now he's, now he's doing like my dog rubbing on the couch after he takes a bath. <laughs> So everything in the zoo is cool, especially polar bear plunge. He's not plunging, he's just lounging on the rock, but how awesome is it to see such a mag magnificent animal? Just chilling, like everybody should do. Just chill, have fun. So they change how they do things now. You get them in a little bag, no trays, and they even give me this really cool plastic cup. I didn't see that coming. I brought my own straw, but I guess I don't need it. That might be because of the annual pass. Not sure. Barbecue sauce. That barbecue sauce, that's supposed to be barbecue sauce. That's kind of liquidy. What is this? What is that? A packet. Ketchup mustard. Ketchup mustard. Yeah, I like how they give me all this extra because they think this is for two people. Are these my pot stickers? Pot stickers in a little bag. Fried pot stickers. They're good. Fried pot stickers are good, but when they're baked, when they're fried like this, they remind me of little empanadas. Okay. You guys want some more ketchup? I got something easy. Straight up chicken strips. And oh, you know what this is? This is for my pot stickers. This is not barbecue sauce. This is for the pot stickers. Wait, is that syrup? What? No, it's not syrup. It's um, it's a uh, gyoza sauce. Gyoza are pot stickers. Sometimes I do that when I go up to like in staters and you go to the sushi place and I, I ask them for the pot stickers they're like when I go gyoza oh no we don't have any you have to tell them there we go hmm not too embarrassed hmm I like to dunk it in the sauce you like pot stickers mm -hmm. I'd offer you one of mine, but I don't want to share. I think it's funny when they say, do you want um, barbecue or ranch? And you tell them, I made the choice, barbecue. And, I give you both. and they give me both. Yay! Upside down. There you go. Which is fine, because I like I like both. See? Nice solid chicken strip. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. That's good. I don't even think I need uh, sauce. I like it when you don't need sauce. Mm. It's hot, huh? It's good, but hot. Yeah. So my napkin's in the bag. There we go. What's this place called? What's this one called? It's down by the pandas, the uh, Humai or something. I can't remember. So it's down by the pandas, where the pandas used to be. The Humai Cafe. So if you want to get some, grab some chicken or popsicles or. Uh, what did you get? A teriyaki pineapple sandwich, or what is it? Chicken? Ter teriyaki chicken. Teriyaki pineapple sandwich with a brioche bun. That's where you come to pick that up. So here's another thing new to me: Conrad Priebe's Africa Rocks. Africa Rocks, and it looks like it's penguins. I don't know how Africa Rocks and penguins go together, but that's what it. Ah, so that's what we're gonna look at. So let's go take a look. See what we got in here.
Oh no, I have never seen this before. They got sharks and fish. This is new to me. I have never ever seen this. Another thing new, the falls, look at that, look at that, look at that, that's amazing, all the way up there, it really does remind me of Wakanda, <laughs> I keep expecting them to have some kind of battle up there. So this whole section, again, is new to me, and I thought I saw lemurs jumping around here somewhere, oh, there we go. I guess there's different lemurs in there. They're not all the same lemur. They got blue-eyed lemur, or blue-eyed black lemur, red ruffed lemur, cockerels of Sakafa, red collared lemur, and a ring-tailed lemur. I forget, you kids have to tell me which one was Zabumafu. I think he's right there, the ring-tailed lemur. There he goes. See if we can get in there. Get a closer look. Very nice. There he is. He's coming. Oh. He's Man, talk about a sunburned butt. Right? Well, they're all coming, man. Wow. Dang. How many are there in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's some. Somebody's like, my the wind, yeah. So that was really cool. Like I said, I've never seen that before. That was a very neat area. Make sure you guys come down here and check that out. We were just eating, eating lunch. Is it lunchtime or dinner? Depends on how old the, the kangaroo is. Oh, it's dinner. See, see, that's what I was going to say right now. He probably gets tired of people coming up and doing an Australian accent. Because <laughs> I almost did it too. Also, kangaroo all that. Uh, yeah, you're, you're real funny, dude. You're real funny with your Australian accent. Hello, Mr. Rhino. Hello there, Ambrose. Long time no see. I haven't seen you at the zoo in a while. How you been? So I see the rhinos are mad because this used to be the elephant enclosure. And the rhinos are like, oh, the elephant's got a nice new pad. We had to have their second-hand stuff. I like how he's posing there for a nice picture. Exactly. Somebody give him a Kleenex though. Back and forth. Bread and butter, bread and butter, bread and butter, bread and butter. Hello there. Hey, kitty. What a distinguished gentleman. See, one of the cool things at Elephant Odyssey is this right here. Diamond Valley Lake, Riverside County. This used to say Hemet, California, because this is in Hemet, this Western Science Center. And you can go there and check it out. This right here is where they dug out the, the reservoir, what's now a reservoir. And you can, it's actually right behind uh, my father's house, right over the hill. It's pretty cool. They were building a reservoir, then they found this. As soon as they found this, everything slowed down. And they had to they had to slow they had to research it and see what other kind of fossils were there. But now you can go to Western Science Center and check it out. It's really cool. It's really fun. If you're ever in the Hammond area, you really gotta check it out. It's a it's a fun place. Okay. I'm gonna take a little break. Have me an orange soda and a pretzel. And no salt. Oh no salt! And no salt. And I'm prepared, see? Look. I bring my own straw. Oh yeah. And I got a pretzel with no salt. And they didn't even ask me if I wanted salt. I don't know what that's all about. 
Another new addition to the zoo is this bridge, which links Elephant Odyssey and the treehouse section uh, together. That's that's neat. I've never been on this. So we're walking across this. You can see the sky party behind me. Yeah. This is a fast way. I mean, they used to take the... From down by the pandas, you would take the uh, moving uh, walkway up. Same thing, uh, take the moving walkway up to um, the treehouse. But now... But now we got... They built an elevator tower like that and this is called the Bashor Bridge Jim Jim and Diane Bashor Bridge and this is this is pretty neat to walk across this that's a fast way to get to Elephant Odyssey now we're coming from Elephant Odyssey to the treehouse because we're gonna go look at the gorillas we are pretty high up that's that new area we walked through with the penguins sharks and uh, monkeys and things we are pretty high up here. Look at this side. There's the Sky Fari. Been a pretty fun day, I think. Close out with some great apes, gorillas, and chimpanzees, I believe, are down this way. So we didn't get to see any gorillas. No gorillas, they're already in bed, asleep. But we get to see some monkeys. A lot of monkeys there. So these are silver leaf lingers. You can see right there. And looks like they all went to the same barber because they all got the same faux hawk. Okay, here's the other thing. Everybody's looking at this peacock. The peacock there. I can't stand peacock. And that's why I can't stand peacocks. My dad had like 50 peacocks. And when I lived there at his ranch in Hemet, that's all you hear all night. Screaming peacocks. I hate them. Climb on my car and they would crap all over my car and these big king size Hershey kiss size turds that stunk and you like kind of get them off your car oh geez they're beautiful but I hate peacocks so that's gonna do it for me from the world famous San Diego Zoo I had a blast today it was so awesome I got to see a lot of stuff I've never seen before um, things that they've changed I've come here many times but not in the last few years and they just added so much stuff. You gotta come down here and check it out. Um, right now, they're doing a thing where they, they say to make reservations. I did not make a reservation. I just had my pass. And he told me, well, next time. So, you can take a chance if you want, but if you go on their app or go online, you can make a reservation. Guarantee your spot here at the San Diego Zoo. But um, as you can see, the sun is a setting here. Um, so it's time to say goodbye. Thanks for watching. But here's the thing, guys. If you can like the video, subscribe to the channel, click notifications, I'd appreciate it. And if you've already subscribed to the channel, thank you so very much. We really appreciate it here. But if you can do me a favor, tell your friends to like the video. Tell your friends to subscribe to the channel. Tell them what a great channel In Your Face Studios is and how much fun we have here. All right. I'm going to do a little sneak peek here. Thanks for watching, have fun, and I'll see you soon.